Ei jo poi. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. So the dogs we've been using are the traditional gun dog breeds. Dogs actually that you see doing search tasks around the UK anyways looking for drugs or explosives and um, what's so fantastic about our work is that we're actually able to use some rescue dogs so two of the dogs on the project were actually dogs that came from rescue centers so it really is win-win for both man and dog uh, uh, yes actually two of the dogs live with me because we have this no kennel policy everybody who takes a dog home but two of my dogs were on the project and i'm very proud to say they both did incredibly well so that's tala and asher who was a rescue dog so dogs have got this absolutely incredible sense of smell. They've got up to 350 million sensory receptors. Us poor humans have got 5 million. Now what does this mean? Well, it means they can detect down to parts per trillion, which sounds a bit strange, but if as a human you can detect a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of tea, a dog can actually detect a teaspoon of sugar in the volume of water in two Olympic-sized swimming pools. Now this is quite incredible and that's why they're so remarkable at detecting human disease by odour. One of the problems that we have with current diagnostics for COVID is that um, they, although they can be accurate, they're very hard to use on a lot of people all at the same time. So mass screening is very, very difficult. Now what we're not saying is we're going to replace PCR or we're looking to replace PCR or lateral flow tests with, with dogs, but dogs could work alongside those tests in particular environments. So for example, at airports, stadia, uh, sporting events, um, maybe theatres and even workplaces where lots of people have to be screened very, very quickly. These dogs can do it remarkably quickly. So each dog could screen 250 to 300 people per hour so you could screen a whole plane of people within half an hour with a couple of dogs it really could be that quick well it's interesting from, from our collection of samples that most of them were the the original strain of covid that came into the uk but when we're testing our, our dogs and putting them through their paces we did actually have kent uh, the kent variant and the dogs picked that up as well so we're pretty confident that they will pick up other variants. We don't know that we don't know the answer to that, but from from that sort of background it gives us greater confidence for the future.